the Crown Prince of Morocco, attends the Grand Prix of Tiberita and El Jadida. Princess Charlene of Monaco participates in a charity walk in Fonvie. And Empress Emerita of Michiko of Japan rushed to the hospital in Tokyo. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Monday. My name is Alexandra, and welcome to your Royal Daily News for October 7th, 2024. In Tokyo, the Imperial Household Agency announced that Her Imperial Majesty, Empress Emerita Michiko of Japan, was rushed to the University of Tokyo Hospital on Sunday evening after a fall at the Sento Imperial Palace on the Akasaka Imperial Estate. After the fall, the 89-year-old Empress Emerita immediately, quote, felt severe pain in her right leg, end quote. An examination at the hospital revealed that she had broken the upper part of her right femur. The Empress Emerita remains at the hospital and will undergo surgery tomorrow morning on October 8, 2024. The Empress Emerita will turn 90 years old on October 20th. Wishing Empress Emerita Michiko, Japan, a speedy recovery. On Sunday, in Saga, their Imperial Majesties, Emperor Naruhito and Empress Moscow of Japan, attended a volleyball match between the prefectures of Miyagi and Hyogo during day two of the Japan Games and National Sports Festival at the Saga Stadium. In Copenhagen, His Majesty King Frederick X of Denmark attended the opening of the exhibition entitled Water is Coming at the Danish Architecture Center. In a press release from the DAC, the exhibition explores the relationship between, quote, water, people, and nature in a rapidly changing world where, despite this seemingly bleak outlook, there is also hope and opportunity. Water is one of the greatest challenges of our time. Rising sea levels and more frequent cloud bursts demand a radical change in urban design and organization. Cities like Copenhagen, Venice, and Jakarta are already dealing with the inevitable question. How can we adapt to the water instead of fighting it? In the Water is Coming exhibition, the DAC is seeking to create a deeper understanding of our dependence on water and the challenges it poses to our cities. The exhibition also presents different solutions for how we can live with water in the future. In the exhibition, we focus on a future with rising water levels from all directions. Dive into current knowledge, bold visions, completed projects, extensive research, and historical perspectives. Be inspired by how citizens are adapting to a new daily life with water, and how scientists, architects, urban planners, municipalities, and organizations are working together to create solutions for our shared future with water. End quote. In Oslo, Her Royal Highness, Crown Princess Matamari de Norway, visited the Norwegian Council for Mental Health. During the visit, the Crown Princess was briefed on the organization's work and on young people's mental health after the pandemic. Meanwhile, His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Haakon of Norway, held an audience with His Highness, Crown Prince Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan of Abu Dhabi, at the Royal Palace. According to a press release from the UAE government, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi is on a two-day official visit to the Kingdom of Norway. In the afternoon, the Crown Prince held a meeting with several CEOs from, quote, leading Norwegian companies as part of their participation in the UAE Norway Investment Forum. The UAE Norway Investment Forum aims to highlight available investment opportunities and strengthen trade relations between the UAE and Norway, fostering shared interests and supporting innovation and knowledge-based economic visions. End quote.
On Sunday afternoon, His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan welcomed His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan, the ruler of Abu Dhabi at Al Marka Airport in Amman. According to a press release from the UAE government, the official working visit comes as a part of an ongoing cooperation between the UAE and the Kingdom of Jordan to quote, strengthen bilateral cooperation between the two countries in the areas of the economy, investment, sustainable development, food security, and renewable energy, with the two leaders' keenness to build strategic economic partnerships. End quote. During their meeting at Al Basman Palace, His Highness and the King witnessed the signing of the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement between the two countries, which aims to, quote, enhance economic, trade, and investment relations, create jobs, improve supply chains, and accelerate the growth of priority sectors. End quote. His Highness and the King also witnessed the signing of the Customs Cooperation and Mutual Administrative Assistance Agreement signed by the two governments. On Saturday, in Fonvie, Her Serene Highness, Princess Charlene of Monaco, and her brother, Mr. Gareth Whitstock, participated in the first edition of the Rokithon Solidarity Walk. The Rokithon aimed to raise awareness of the increasing problem of pet abandonment, both in France and around the world, and to encourage individuals to adopt a pet at a local shelter rather than purchase a pet from a breeder. And finally, in El Jadida, His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Moulay El Hassan of Morocco, attended the final day of the seventh edition of His Majesty King Mohammed VI Grand Prix of Tiberida, held at the Mohammed VI Exhibition Park. The event was held in connection with the 15th edition of El Jadida Salon Horse Show. Upon his arrival, the Crown Prince was warmly welcomed by the President of the Royal Moroccan Federation of Equestrian Sports government ministers, organizers, and sponsors of the event. According to Agence Maroc, the teams participating in the Grand Prix of Tiberida are assessed based on criteria set by the judges of the Royal Moroccan Federation of Equestrian Sports, quote, which include the unity of the riders' movements, the rhythm of the gallop, the handling of the rifles, the timing of the shot, traditional attire, and the saddle. The riders are also evaluated on their level of coordination and communication, their mastery of their mounts, as well as the overall appearance of both rider and horse. End quote. At the end of the competition, the Crown Prince presented three trophies and posed for photos for the press. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I will be back tomorrow on Tuesday, October 8th, with all the latest world news and events. And boy, it's going to be <laughs> a very busy day. We have a state visit from the Republic of Iceland to the Kingdom of Denmark. And we also have in Luxembourg City, His Royal Highness, Hereditary Grand Dukeum of Luxembourg, taking the oath of Lieutenant Representative. So. I hope you all will join me tomorrow. Until then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you'd like, and click on the notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.